Welcome back everybody, uh, welcome back to a poorly full of cold Ed Shed Annex. Going to revisit the, uh, the camping gas cylinder test. Um, I did it all wrong last time. Thank you Brit Iron John. Brit Iron John. Thank you very much. Um, common sense. There's an arrow. So common sense says stand the bloody thing up. Up there for dancing. Um, right, so back to it. Let's get the stuff out of the bag. I won't boil anything up today. Um, this is purely a test, just to just to make sure, in my own mind and for you guys, that you can see this thing working um, and do what it's meant to do. Uh, what I did last time, last time the cylinder was laying down, um, and when the, the, the fluid in it was going up the pipe and out of the uh, regulator, so that was causing all the big flames. Go back to the previous video and look at the camping gas cylinder test and you'll see what I mean. It was um, quite pyrotechnic, it was really good. Um, but I was doing it all wrong. So this is how you should use these cans. Um, here we go. First of all, put the adapter on that first. Don't do it the other way around. Put that on the adapter first. And make sure it's nice and tight. But not too tight. You don't want to break the bloody thing. Just, you know, just tight. Then, rise down. That's on there. Right. Make sure it's in a proper position, you've got the, as I was showing before, you've got the, you see the little lugs on that, they expand when you tighten this thing up, so, proper position, that tab, that break there, for that tab, there, one on the other, that's it, and then just tighten it down. And that's it. That's that's all you do to that. Right, so if you can't really see that from this, but what it is, it's it's that that deal. The the can upright like that. Because of the braided hose, it's hard to um, it's hard to get this in a position. But once you've got it there, that's how it goes. Um, right, let's light this baby up. Trust the old lighter. from the gift shop. Hello. Right now that is it's very adjustable now. Okay. Right, so Sorry. 
that's how you do it. <sighs> Yay! So, apologise for the sound, but I've got a, a chest infection and voice ain't too good, so there you go. But, there you have it. Um, that's the trusty table. That is... <coughs> there you go. That is that. Very, very, very good. Couldn't, couldn't do it without it. It's brilliant. Um... Right, so now I've changed my mind on the gas cylinder. I would be using it again. I will be taking it away with me and it will be my backup um, cylinder. I don't know how, they don't feel very full. That's that's the, the only thing I'd say is when you get a proper gas camping cartridge or cylinder, whatever you want to call it, they feel like they're full of stuff, but these tins don't feel very full from the outgo. Um, Maybe most of it's gas, I don't know, but um, anyway, right, on the next video, uh, no, not on the next video, but on a future video, um, I'm going to be making a, a light for the, uh, for the, for the camping. Candle, I'm going to melt that into there. Uh, cardboard, just bits of cardboard in there. I'm going to melt the candle. <coughs> I'm going to melt that candle into there so it makes that into a bigger candle. Do that. They they, they last a hell of a long time. Um, but it's a bigger light because you've got that. that the whole surface is a wick as opposed to just a little bit um, so we'll be, we'll be playing around with that and we're doing that in a, in a future a future video um, anyway so that was camping gas cylinder test part two of the Europeans part two um, um, and I'll call that a success I'll call that a yeah so this has been Ed Shed. Um, oh, I got a present, didn't she? Yeah, you see that in there? It's a um, it's a little whizzy thing. It takes two batteries. Not very solid, um, but it is a self stirring mug proper size mug see proper size compare it to a normal mug there you go don't know where this came from probably what know if you'll be able to pick that up but it says made in China so there you go cheap shit from China um, I did however point out that um, I don't have sugar so <laughs> so uh, fantastic present though it is um, it's just a novelty thing and you feel like it, you feel like Noah part in the, the, the sea because when you turn it on it, it parts, it's a big hole in the middle and it's almost like you, you parted the, the tea uh, what's that film Bruce Almighty when he parts the soup it, it's a bit like that you feel, you feel really good um, anyway little things play little minds uh, so until next time um, this has been Ed Shed the Annex um, stay safe out there uh, don't don't become a loony there's plenty of them see you later